Hello everyone and welcome to theCUBE's live coverage of Alteryx Inspire here at the Venetian in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host and analyst, Rob Strecce. Rob, we are kicking off one full day of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. You are fresh from the, I'm, we're both fresh from the keynotes. Both of us, yes. <laughs> and um, lots of announcements, lots of appearances by, by Alteryx bigwigs, including uh, uh, Paula Hansen, who's going to come on the show later, Suresh Vital, the uh, chief product officer, also on the show later. Uh, cameos from executives at DoorDash and Databricks. I'm curious, what, what are your thoughts? What stood out to you? I, I think, again, what really stood out was the breadth of the product line that they showed, which was on their cloud platform. And I think what they're trying to do is really make that connection to where their community has been, which has really been designer on laptop, and how that connects up to all of the new exciting features that they're putting into the cloud platform. And I think what was really exciting around the Aiden announcements that they had and watching people how they were actually using it. I thought, again, they did a fantastic job with the demos, bringing that string through of truth with DoorDash and showing how you would get and use this data in a, I would say, a uh, created use case that they took people through in three different steps with three different demos. I, I thought that was awesome, and I, I think in the later uh, not surprisingly, in the later version of the keynote, the second part of the keynote, they actually seeing DoorDash actually win an award uh, for their use of this. But you also had many other customers, and even one that was talking about how they were putting it on almost everybody's laptop. Uh, now they also said they may have bought too many licenses, <laughs> but that's a problem for the salesperson <laughs> who owns that, that, that account. But when you start to look back at it, they really, have a very loyal following, a very big sense of community. There was a lot of discussions about how people were using this to get to AI and to get to ML. And it wasn't all about Gen AI, but there was a lot of Gen AI announcements in there as well. I, I agree with you about how they use the real customer case studies to show here's how people are using our stuff, here's how they are uh, unlocking real value and, and deriving important insights in terms of what their customers want, what their customers don't want. Um, I completely agree with you. That really makes this stuff come to life. This is billed as the, the analytics event of the year, and I think that it, what really also came through is that this is a critical moment for so many enterprises because there is so much pressure um, and mandates to get to the cloud, to move to the cloud. Do you think Alteryx is, um, is, is <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure exactly how to phrase this, but do, do you, I mean, are, are they getting that word out to their customers? Oh, I mean, it was, it was probably the biggest <laughs> thread throughout the entire, I guess you could say entire, first part of the keynote was them, here's why people really can use designer and actually execute designer in the cloud versus using server on-prem, and how you can do it in a cost-effective manner. And I think that was a big piece that we, we were hearing is people are still trying to figure out, okay, where do I use what for the product set? And I think they did a really good job of how to bring all of these different new features together, what works on-prem, what works connected to on-prem, and what works in the cloud. I also think that some of that was about, hey, you, know, you don't need to use Mongo on-prem anymore, you can actually use SQL as keeping your metadata, which we know from an analytics perspective, that's the, the crown jewels of your analytics is really that metadata about how it connects everything together. Uh, but to that point, I think having, uh, you know, again, Adam uh, Conway from Databricks on stage, who is the SVP of products over there, who I know, and I, I think looking at how he was bringing that, because Databricks is cloud. I mean, that is it. I mean, there's Spark, you know, they, as they talk about, and he kind of said that the largest open source company, if he said independent, I mean, Red Hat's still bigger, but you know, doing a, over, about almost $2 billion in revenue, and you start to t look at how easy they've made it to connect to the data that is in Databricks so that you can design this. And I think that's a huge advantage for them because there are so many other tools out there in the partner community within Databricks' Partner Connect, but they, they 
showed how easy it was to go and do that and how easy it was to get started with Databricks, which I think helps them in that cloud messaging that they're really doing. And I, I think again, people are storing data all over the place, especially unstructured data, when they're doing RAG and doing some other things which are a little bit more advanced under the hood from where Alteryx is really sitting. When they start to build the workflows on top that get at the data and how you actually bring the data together, doing that with somebody like a Databricks, and also talking about how they're in Google, how they're in Azure, how they're in AWS, in all those marketplaces, and how these partners, be it the GSIs, SIs, and the VAR community, really can help bring that data to life. I thought it was excellent. I thought they really hit on the cloud theme uh, very in, in a practical manner mm. versus being overstated. Right, I mean, it is, it is, it's a subtle, it's a marketing thing too, we have to be honest. One of the things that I was just talking about with a guest I had on earlier who is a consultant was describing the, the, mind the mindset shift that's needed to really become a data-driven, analytics-driven organization. He was talking about a company he was working with that was a sales organization. The, the lead salesperson said, this is a relationships game. This is, this is how we do things. I want my, this salesperson to focus on this, that guy to do this, this woman over here to do this. And, and, and his consulting organization came in and he said, we actually have some data that shows what you're doing isn't right. We, we could have these sales or these salespeople doing multiple things over here. And, and by the way, they'd make more money, you'd make more money. And so I, I think that will be something I'd like to talk about more today on theCUBE is, Yes, it, it, is, it is the tech, but it also does require a, a real shift and maybe even a shift in leadership too. Yeah, I, I think again, they had some great use cases and user comments throughout, and I know we have a couple on from the GSI and customer community, all the way to actually having a student on later uh, in, <laughs> in a few minutes, I guess. And when you start to look at how they're bringing this all together about how you use them to actually get ROI, out of using the product, it was pretty clear. I mean, I, I think they were really good at connecting to, hey, this, you know, DoorDash, it saved us 25,000 hours last year. I mean, that's, that's massive when you start to look at those numbers and how they're going to really approach saving by automating and automating and having that designer to automate these workflows to get data out. And, uh, even looking at how they have these magic pages that they email out or text out because executives aren't going to log into a dashboard every day. Not necessarily, unless it's on their phone in many cases. So how do you get the data into their hands before they're going into a certain meeting, a board meeting, or going into an executive committee meeting? How do you bring them that all of the media, all the, you know, all of the metadata that they need to be able to be smart in those meetings. And I think that they did a great job of really explaining and connecting the dots to that. Exactly, I, I, I couldn't agree more. And those 25,000 hours, those matter when you are waiting for your California rolls and, yeah. or your cocktails to go in Massachusetts. I well, mean. And, and when you think about the margins on that from a company that is born in the cloud, had their peak, a, a huge peak during COVID and all of that with the deliveries, and now is trying to figure out how do they optimize that and capitalize on that. And it was also another discussion about how many of you are working with your marketing organizations? How do you better target? How do you better understand what actual you know, content is hitting properly? Some great data there and data points and use cases, and there's a lot of really good uh, talks by customers, and that was, that was another takeaway from the keynotes. The customers aren't only on stage in the keynotes, they're in these sessions really leading and sharing, and I think that sharing of and networking is what I was seeing all around when I was talking to people even before some of the keynotes. Sharing ideas about how they, in fact, one of the guys asked me how I was using it on the way down in the elevator today to come to here. So it was very interesting in having those discussions right out of the gate. Well, it gets back to the community and how much they are sharing best practices and Ultrix is doing a smart thing by telling stories to, to really get at the truth. Yeah. Rob, there is so much to unpack here. I'm really looking forward to today's coverage. Yeah, it, I, I think again, it's such a great day for this and I think we'll be digging in all day long into how it's, you know, as they say, how you're getting inspired on inspired. this, ins inspiration, and I think 
that was definitely the key, is giving people inspiration on how to use the workflow's better, and I think we're going to be digging into that all day long today. Indeed we are. Stay tuned for more of theCUBE's live coverage of Alteryx Inspire. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in enterprise, tech new <laughs> enterprise news, technology, and coverage.